Hey everyone, how are you? One of my friends that enrolled in my remote script services mastery course on Udemy asked me a question about if we can install remote script services or RDS session host without having a domain controller. I said yes, and in this lecture, I want to show how to do this simply. Let's see, we are in my Windows Server 2016 machine. If we click now on manage and address and features and we go by the default installation type I showed you in the course or here on my YouTube channel I have a course about RDS if you want to check it if you select this and click on next and go with the installation it will tell you that this machine is not a part of a domain controller or a domain so how to fix this issue and install only RDS on your server it's very simple really click on manage the same way address and features click next now select role based and go and select your server and here simply say remote desktop services check it from here and click on next and next and here it will ask you for the role services i will say licensing and let's say session host whatever you want and click on next very simple and click install in this way you can install rds without a domain controller and this machine can allow now multiple sessions to connect to it without using a domain you can connect local users and distribute them to your clients of course it's not that awesome scenario but just to know that you can install rds without a domain so let's wait for the installation to finish and we are going to test it together okay very nice it will tell you that it needs a restart simply let's restart our machine go to start menu and let's reboot restart continue okay friends so here i am back to my server and you can see now remote sub services is installed now we can connect remotely to this server and have more than two sessions simultaneously to this server i think the idea is somehow very simple so let's test this now i am logged in with my administrator account Let's go to my client machine. What is the IP address of this machine? Let's get it. CMD IP config. And here's the IP address. Okay. Let's go down here to my client machine and open remote client and enter the IP address and click connect. Now it will ask you for credentials. Since I'm logged in with administrator account, let's use another account now. Let's go to my machine again and go to computer management and let's create a new test user users new user test one and enter a password okay let's test now and see what will happen i will go down say test one and enter the password and login say yes and oops we have a problem it says the connection was denied because the user account is not authorized for remote login simply when you want to log in remotely to a certain pc or machine the user you are logging in must be a member of the remote desktop users you must allow this user to log in remotely so all this stuff is explained on my Udemy course. I have a full Udemy course about all the S services, how to configure, install, brokers, gateways on Azure Cloud and so on. If you are interested, you can check the link below and get the course now for only 9.99. So let's continue and fix this issue. I will go to my server again. You can simply fix it by making this user a member of the administrators group or a member of the remote desktop user group so say member of add and let's say re and let's say advanced file now and here we have administrators you can add it to administrators or simply you can add it to remote desktop users let's find remote desktop users here it is you can see you can add it to this and everything will be fine let's see now i will log in again with this user connect test and login sorry what is the user i forgot test one test one and enter the password yes 
and awesome you can see now we are logged in with our second user and so on you can test multiple users and everything will work fine so that's it this is how you can configure rds on a machine without a domain controller or not join the domain and allow multiple connections to your server thank you for following and see you later thank you for following if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel to like the video and to press on the bell for notifications you can also view our other lectures thank you and see you in other videos